Hi, this is Roy here, and I'm in a magical place at Kumasumi, which is uh, a little island just off um, the east coast of Thailand. And uh, I'm staying at Kamalaya, well, Katrina and I were just relaxing, and I'm celebrating my 70th birthday. We've been here for a week or so, and basically just chilling out, you know, and uh, doing yoga every day, doing meditation and just really getting into flow. And I thought I'd just share with you this, what some of the inspiring things and even some of the scenes of this magical place. It's a really interesting energy. And what came up for me in a lot of the meditations was flow. And I was just wondering, and I questioned myself on how much flow that I have in my life. And I looked at nature, I looked at this place, and I see how much flow there actually is. The whole island is in flow. You know, we work down from the mountains where this beautiful spring is, and you may see a couple of shots of that. And then see this um, water that just comes and finds its way, and the water knows where it wants to go. And uh, even the buildings are all in flow. They go down the hill, and, and the people are in flow, and the whole energy of this place is in flow. You know, and it ends up in the ocean of abundance. The ocean's a magical place, of course, and the ocean's are very humble. It, uh, it's never higher than the, any of the water. And it just receives. It takes all of the water that rains and flows down the hill, and it receives it with such gratitude. And, of course, the ocean gives back with precipitation, and it takes itself up through the air from steam and, and vapour, and then puts it back onto the island. So this process is going on all the time. I guess there's a great lesson for us in all of this. And really it's a question of your stand. What is your stand? Is this a stand for getting things, if that's what you stand for? Or is it a stand for giving things? So at One Life we're always about uh, the magical, healthy, wealthy and wise formula. Being healthy and uh, being wealthy and being wise and all of that is based on relationships and it's uh, in the Buddhist tradition there's some really interesting thoughts there and I've been looking at this very closely and of course it, it just follows nature. So if your stand is for getting things and you're finding you're not getting and if your stand is for giving things and, and you are giving but not getting so maybe it's about forgetting and forgiving forgetting and forgiving and maybe you are blocking the flow and when we notice how nature works and what man does on this planet uh, human existence we do put blocks in we do put dams and uh, we create the stop of the flow now um, if a dam stays long enough it stagnates the water and nothing is used you must harness the water and uh, in modern world we use instead of dams we use banks and of course banks are very interesting because banks stop the flow of the water, stop the flow of the money, but they actually do something else, they harness the money. And they create uh, a generation of energy from that money. And I guess I'm really asking you to check in and say what are you doing about blockage and how are you really harnessing things. And uh, you know, I suspect that most of us, we tend to put control on our money um, and we try and control it, which, as I said, the water knows where it wants to go. It wants to go to the ocean of abundance and your money wants to go to the ocean of abundance as well. So let the money flow. Let the money go where it needs to go and observe the money and work with the money. There's a big difference between control and controlling and there's a difference between out of control. So you can control the, the water with um, dams and banks and various things. And the biggest thing about it is that you must create the generator that will generate something from this. Otherwise, the money just goes out to the ocean and um, you don't participate in any of this. Um, the wild elephant. Uh, I learned about this in the... Buddhist trainings. Um, the average person, 95% of it, has got a mind that's a wild elephant, a raging elephant. And uh, 
that's uh, out of control. Um, and of course, they're not present to what's happening. So how do we get you really receiving what you deserve? How do you get back into flow? How do you create this? Well, there are three steps. One is give up control. We've spoken about that. And yet create that generation of that, that, that uh, um, creation of, of, of energy from that under the flow. Number two, really give up attachment to things, and particularly money, of course, attachment to money, attachment to anything. And uh, this attachment is another controlling issue. And of course, the biggest one that stops everyone from really being successful is give up the good opinion of others. The good opinion of others will stop you because most people are so concerned what others think of them and they don't even know what they think themselves. So if you want to be in flow, you need to let nature be the flow for you. So with those thoughts, uh, if there's anything we can ever do for you, always drop us a line at royatonelife.com.au. Look forward to keeping in touch and with love and light. And remember to breathe. Always remember to breathe. Namaste.